Isn't she? His motherless. Uh, no, she's not. We adopted her. Yeah, she's got two moms. Come now. Not the bunny! <laughs> Did she miss? Oh, that's a long jump. Yep. Oh, she, oh. she grew up fast. She did. How hard did puberty hit you? Hey, don't run away without subscribing. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're starting Horizon Zero Dawn. This game was why I bought the PS4. Flat out, I spent most of the console generation playing on the Xbox One, and then when I found out about Horizon, robots, dinosaurs, main character that's a kick-ass girl, I mean, what more can you ask for, right? And it did not disappoint. This will be my second time playing it, but Tiffany has never played this game before, so she doesn't know what's gonna happen. And we are so excited to share this adventure with you guys. The little bits and pieces I've seen of this game, it's just that it's gorgeous. I've heard that the story is pretty good too, so I, I can't wait to watch you play it. I know you were really excited about this. We didn't record it, the, the very first first uh, trailer for the second game, but I was here like watching her reaction and oh my god, she was like a little kid. <laughs> like so excited and I just like I mean she had an amazing reaction to it I wish we would have recorded it. I can't wait to see what this game is all about. I'm pretty excited actually hmm. It is snowing it is good. It's pretty good graphics. How old is this game? What's that now? Not Don't too like old, actually. Can't stand uh -huh. today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Oh God, he's gonna sacrifice the baby. Oh. Uh -huh. Here. Wear this. No. Oh. <laughs> Belong to my daughter. Oh, so this good. is not your daughter? Today, I speak your name, girl. But okay. Will the goddess speak it back? Mm -hmm. I like his little carrier. That's yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. It's like a little like backpack thing. <laughs> we should get one of those for our kid once we have one. We have one for a cat. That's true. We do. <laughs> Normally, it would be the mother who declares. If you had one. Aww. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But she doesn't have a mother. We are outcasts. Oh, she's trying to grab his brain. So, <laughs> keep the tribe's rituals. <laughs> That's typical baby, isn't Otherwise, it? Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. Hmm. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air. Water, earth, and steel. <laughs> I love it. It's like Robot Jurassic Park. <laughs> wow. Oh, I like the the flathead ones. Yeah. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble. And respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. Oh, the baby's so cute. It's like... to go a long way to name this kid. Yep. Hi, Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? Oh. A 
No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. <laughs> yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Aww. Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Oh my god, this is so Lion King. <laughs> and so her name is blessed. So, so her name's Eloy? What yep. have you done? Eloy. I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she How tell dare you, you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Aww. Already, this game, gorgeous. Just everything, gorgeous. It's all pretty. I think if I remember right, Colorado is where most of the game takes place. Okay. So as we go through, um, people, if you live in Colorado, if you're familiar with the landmarks, you might recognize some different locations. Feel free to comment below and let us know if you see anything familiar. Earth, the far future. Nature has reclaimed the ruins of our forgotten civilization, but humanity lives on in primitive tribes. In this new wilderness, they fight for survival against the machines. Fearsome mechanical creatures of unknown origin. Because as we all know, machines spontaneously create themselves. Oh, six years later. Aloy! She's so cute. So six years later, this is a six-year-old kid. Ooh, blueberries. Can I have some? I want blueberries. Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some mom. Hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast oh. to be shunned. No, there. that's so mean. That's terrible. Oh, come on. There. Like, even that kid is like, dude, you're being an asshole. Come on, man. She was trying to help. Just adopt you, okay? We'll be your two moms. Don't yeah. worry. You'll be okay. 
So you yeah. don't need that bitch that don't want the berries. I'll take the berries. Yeah, exactly. We'll take your berries, kid. You just stick with us. Instead of one mom, you get two. Now you're twice as special. All right. Where's Rost? Uh, I don't think he's in this hole. I think he's somewhere else. I can't remember how to anything. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, bats! Oh, bats. tight, but I can get through. Yeah. Yeah, just be careful. Don't step on bat poop. I heard that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. You can get all kinds of diseases. Ugh. This must be a ruin of okay. the metal world. One of the old places. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> She's like clumsy and hobbling all over everything. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I don't think there's much. This, of this part down kind here. of reminds me of Uncharted. Kind of, yeah. This underground ruin. Or if we're going the Lion King route, an elephant graveyard. <laughs> Some kind of underground structure. Places like this. But I have to find a way never out. Never say never. It's totally an elephant graveyard. <laughs> More rats. Follow the rats. Follow the rats? Yep, don't know the way out. Okay, I see a uh, uh, stairs, so I think that looks like this might way? be the way out. Yep, and I see light. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. And that just looks like a puzzle or some kind, maybe. Or what is that? Anything? Are you? I think it's a wall. Oh. Uh, like a little extra like, panels or something. Ooh. It almost seems like a temple, but then parts of it almost seems like some sort of There's spaceship. Up ahead. Yeah. Ooh, is it one of those, like, robot dinosaurs? What's that? You're gonna fight. I want to fight a robot dinosaur. Ooh. A oh. dead person! Okay, yep. that's not a good sign. And the light's, like, right on there. top of it. I'm gonna yeah. be dead-ass honest. At her age, I would not be this calm. I also don't think I would have survived this far. <laughs> She's a tough kid. She gets that from you. Oh, it's like glowing. What does it do? I think that's like your uh, Apple AirPods or or whatever, you know? AirPods. <laughs> totally. Oh. oh. No, uh, put it back on. Try it. I want to see what it does. Yeah, what does it do? It's okay. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I mean, maybe you'll turn into one of those robot dinosaur dragon things. And that thing still works? It's really good so battery life. It's probably solar powered because the light was shining it and it still works. Oh, wow. Oh, that's an interesting theory. Right. I hadn't thought about that, yeah. Everywhere. How does it do this? Now we can see like all the techno stuff. Okay. S techno? A metal door. Techno. Technological. Maybe this device I found can help. Okay. Bunker door. So do they not use technology like that? I'm assuming. Nope. This is forbidden to come into these A places shape. now. Oh. It's connected to the door somehow. So you can solve puzzles with this because you can see things. Okay. Wee. Wee. Yeah. So in uh, in this world, like there's not computers or anything like that anymore. Gotcha. It's just the robots that are trying to kill you. Yeah. Gotcha. We don't associate with them. Well, she's an outcast anyways. No one likes her, so 
You know what, kid? You can do whatever you want. Whatever you makes you happy. Color. I it's know, okay. right? What's the worst they can do, really? <laughs> At this point, it's kind of like, uh, whatever. I'm already outcast. What are they gonna do? Re outcast me? Oh, the rat was purple. Ooh, what's in here? Was the rat a robot? Maybe it was. Maybe. Or maybe we can the scan their bioelectricity. Okay. Okay. Can we open it? I did it. <gasps> yes. I think that would be a cool doorknob. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can't get over there yet. So I wonder if she's gonna hide that when she gets back. She should, it's forbidden. Yeah. Director Evans, flash traffic from USRC. Huh. Black quartz encryption. I've rooted the message to your hologram for viewing. Huh. Okay, no idea what that means, but cool. I wonder if there's like people still left that use that technology. You know, you don't have to like tell me to spoil it, but it's just just me like wondering. You know, if there's still other people out there that use this. What's that? Uh, Ooh, another dead body. Way. It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Daddy can't be there with you and mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy Aww. birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Aww. Oh, another one? Oh, it's the same yeah. one. Yeah, he has another thing. You know, you should have two in case that one breaks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she connected with that one, so that yep. was probably Isaac's dad. Yep, so that was Isaac's dad, and oh. she uh, downloaded the recording. So, every time you find uh, a dead body, you can kind of see that. That's kind of sad. Yeah, if like, they have um, those things, you can see like a little glimpse into their life. She's probably like, I want to communicate like that. Yeah, You don't totally. have to be present. Is that even possible? Can you imagine living without any technology? No. Especially not indoor plumbing. I know that's the way we're supposed to go, but I think there's more, like, stuff in this side area. Okay. Let's fire up the hollow here. Oh, I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like, being alive is some kind of pain to be eased well not me i don't want to go quiet i don't want to trail off i want a period at the end of my life sentence not an ellipses hell <laughs> an exclamation mark so if that upsets whoever finds this too bad i don't know anyone anything anymore Oh. Yeah, so something happened, and all of these people were kind of waiting to die at the very end. And he's like, no, I'm not taking drugs. Well, happy new year, dear hmm. diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So there we sit, watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. <laughs> I wonder if she, like, understands what's going on in these conversations. 
she I just, probably it's... doesn't. Like, I don't know, though. I mean, you grew up faster in these types of ages, so maybe, but I'm also not sure. Yeah, I just don't know where my mind was, like, at six years old, and just because it's so different and they don't live around this technology, like, I don't know. But it's yeah. kind of interesting that you can hear those recordings. It, I guess it'll kind of fill in a little bit at a time of the story of maybe what happens, so... Mm -hmm. Why did they die here? Great idea. Yeah, it happens. Heavens. Like I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. <laughs> I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. Okay. Kind of <laughs> negative. I think he was gonna say posterity can go fuck itself. Yeah, pray for us <laughs> now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's been a while. Oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top kids. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. So these people took the meds to die. Yep. That other guy hey, shot that's himself. All I need, Dina. That yep. Moment. What had just blossomed inside me, you know? It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. Oh. Huh. We uh, shall soon dissolve like snow. Okay, you know, I'll give her a solid B plus for the singing. Yep. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Yeah, there's the ones that like regret a lot of like, what ever they didn't do. Just like on the deathbed. Well, yeah. I'd like to see Machu Picchu. <laughs> Machu Picchu, man. Hey Rost! Yo, dude! Down here! I'm coming! Whoops. What happened? I hit the X button because I was jumping. <laughs> Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! What do you know? I don't belong up here either. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I can go wherever I please. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. I told you to hide it. What is that? On your Nothing. Face? Nothing. <laughs> Did you find it down there? No. no. <laughs> Give it to me. No. Aloy. Such things are dangerous. No! It's mine, damn it! Just let the girl have it. What's it hurting? <sighs> she can see the matrix now. Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Yeah, probably. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Hee hee! Well, that sounds fun. What are we gonna hunt? Wobots? I wanna kill some Wobots. Oh, only she can see that. Dude, do you think cell oh, phones are gonna shit. evolve to that at some point? What do they mean? Take your bow. He's probably like... She's crazy. Bow. Oh, bow. Oh. And enough muttering to that plaything. <laughs> we descend to the valley now. Follow.
It's like a kid getting a video game. <laughs> getting the only video the game. Wilds yeah. can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. Okay, totally. I know. Now, you're still scratched ants. up from that <laughs> fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I think she I, I think she recovered pretty well. Yeah. See this Kids plant bounce back quick. It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. <laughs> they may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, and flowers, and plants. Oh no, because that bitch didn't want it. Where are we? Yeah, no kidding. This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. Oh, the Nora tribe this is watches so cute. these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Usually. That means something's gonna go wrong. I'm totally paying attention, dude, but you're walking too slow. Whee! <laughs> She's a kid. She probably has all the energy of the world, like running around. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. <laughs> Are they dangerous? Totally. All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Bunny! Bunny! Oh, do you have to hunt bunnies? Yep. Mm. Are you gonna be okay with that? Aloy, a machine's no. <laughs> coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. I am not okay with hunting rabbits. It's very emotionally there. challenging for me. Now stay low. They don't want No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. So we can hug those? Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Okay. It's like, look, I got here faster. Aha! All right, where did the robot chicken go? Let it pass. Hi, robot chicken! Oh, sorry, we're supposed to be quiet. Never mind, I'm not here! Come, back this way. I, I love the graphics. The slower you move, like the details of the grass. Mm -hmm. It's Crouched beautiful. walking is quieter than upright. So, lots of sneaking. Wait for it. Where'd he go? Robot chicken! Oh, there he is. But I want to kill the robot chickens. <laughs> That's the last of them. I'm six Let's and a half on. years old. I'm old enough to, to murderize some robot chickens. <laughs> oh, we're standing up now? Okay. Now what are we doing? You did well. They didn't see or hear you. I'm not really sure why. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. I love how she runs. Like, she's got the little kid bounce. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. They made her really cute. Ooh, who that? A guy. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Is he an outcast like you? I think he has face paint, so nope. Hi! Smiling at us. Hey! Deb! Hi. Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Oh. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come <laughs> now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Whee! Oh, I see more robots. Ooh. I got a stick! Found a stick on the ground, all the power that I found. Gonna totally abuse it. I don't know the song. There. See them? These are called striders. Okay. Horsey robots. So they're not the same as the other ones we were just by? Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> Show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. Oh, okay. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. 
We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Are we gonna kill the horses? So, okay, so some of them are afraid of you. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I think I'm allowed throw to ask questions. To yeah, we're gonna throw Good. it at That's somebody. That's it. Those will do. Follow. I'm gonna find all the rocks. And the berries. Eee! So, do you have a limit of how much you can carry? Yep, so you see the, the green line in the upper left-hand corner? It tells you how full your, um, your thing is. Oh, okay. I don't know how many rocks we can carry, though. I can't remember. Oh, dude, he's Stop way ahead of me. Time. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Aloy, over here. Honey! There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. Yeah! But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No! No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. <sighs> like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with. Or we'll warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Don't fuck up. You'll I'm get totally him killed. Gonna fuck up. Okay. Where he at? Uh. Oh. Throw a rock near me. Okay, oh. that's the signal. Where the hell is he? Oh, I see Throw him. Rock to draw the watcher towards me. I see him. Oh, surprise! Holy shit! Can I come down? Is that safe, Uncle Rost? There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Girl? I'm still called girl. You you went to a lot of trouble to name me Aloy, dude. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Okay. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Alright, I need one more stick. Good. I see you've already gathered stalks of Ridgewood. Use the stalks as arrow shafts. And metal shards for our heads. Okay. Oh, there we go. You can craft stuff. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Okay. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. I go through a lot of arrows, so I try I... to pick up sticks everywhere. I love the bow and arrow. It was one of my favorites in The Last of Us because it was the quietest. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Stay low on the grass and be quiet. I won't make a sound. It's time to make your first kill. Yeah! Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. So where do you shoot it? Study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? His butt. Huh. The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Shits. How did you guess that? The device. I... It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing <laughs> Uh, it's now, pretty useful, actually. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Okay. Keep firing! Again! Ooh. Oh, God! Oh, they're fast! <laughs> did you kill it? Yep, I got him. Oh, okay. You did well today, but you Yay! have much to learn. I did good! I did Tomorrow, good! We train again. Okay, can we kill that like a big, big that? one? That boy! The one running the brave trails. Was that a scream? Follow Eloy! Quick! Where are we going? Where oh, we're going I this think we way? Gonna save that guy, because uh there was like some sort of noise. I couldn't tell what it was though. I think he screamed. Oh god it. We might need to save him. He's Let's go help be, him. He's going to be saved by an outcast. 
Maybe then we can be friends. Yeah? Man, he's running fast. Wait for me. Dude, I have tiny legs. Wait up. Coming. Almost Ugh. there, dude. Almost there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, he's screwed. Oh, you're toast, man. But he smiled at us. We have to help him. Oh, shit. Never mind. He's done. Oh. He's screwed. Poor fella. Okay, we're gonna have to save him. Oh, I thought I heard something. You do nothing. What? It's only a matter of time before the machines find that boy and kick him to and death. And we gonna save him, right? But if I shoot, it'll cause a stampede and it will trample him. But I can see the path they take. Stop telling stories. Um, dude, do you want to borrow this for a second? I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Uh, yes I will. Watch me. Our kid is smarter than you're giving her credit for. Mm-hmm. She can handle this. Oh. And that was the bow. Right? Yeah, so I oh. guess we're not gonna murderize anything down here. Okay. Now I'm worried. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna show you. I'm not telling stories. Yeah, she gets that from you. I'm gonna recklessly roll into danger. Wait, don't you? Okay, I was gonna say, how does that show you their path? We need to move slowly, quietly, so oh. we can sneak past. Okay, robot chicken, keep on walking. Can't let them see me. Okay. I need this. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I believe I'll need a stick about now. Okay, where's that chicken going? It's coming back this way. So is that, oh, so is that the path you're supposed to take? Or that's the path that the thing's taking? That's the path that they're gonna take. So fun fact, this exists in most video games, but you don't actually get to see the track that the enemies are on. Oh, Especially okay. in older stealth games, there would be a fixed track, so you just have to kind of memorize the patterns. But here you can actually see, especially because you often have like multiple intersecting um, paths. Got to be careful. Okay, oh man, he's all the way over there. Okay, so okay. do these robots like eat regular food or do they eat people or do they drink water? Are they like animals? I'm just wondering how do they keep themselves alive for so long if they don't have like, you know, just regular yeah. bodies? These are good questions. These are excellent questions. Okay. Because so I mean, they seem to be doing something. I need to see their path. You see their path. Almost there. Okay. Okay. All right. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Do I have enough time before the robot chicken turns back? Yeah, I think you just go. Oh, no, you turn never mind. Okay. You had time like five seconds ago. I hesitated. That happens when I'm trying to make a left turn too. Is he gonna do a scan? Yeah, I think okay. he's gonna. Ooh. I'm going that for was it. Close. <laughs> okay. Okay. There he is. Hey, dude. Hi, friend. Hey, Teb. Hey. What? How is this? Shh. I can see the Matrix. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> Follow me. Random six-year-old child walks up to you in the middle of nowhere when you're surrounded by, like, dangerous, deadly creatures. <laughs> All right, well, what the hell? I've got no better ideas. It's so funny, they're so impressed, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel like if you just sneak, you know, 
uh, where they're just not looking at you, you can do it too, even if you didn't know their paths. How is this possible? <laughs> okay, where are we go? Oh, we're going that way. Whee! All right, dude, I think we're good. Whew. Hey, look what I found! Do I get points for, for getting one of these? Oh. Like, yeah, I could have needed that. So, it is no plaything. Nope. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. Thank oh. you. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Uh, no, she's not. We adopted her. Yeah, she's got two moms. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. You stop talking ass. shit about our kid. We'll kick your ass. He's smacked him in the back of his head. He should be smacked that in the back of his head. boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. Why? She's a cool kid. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. <laughs> She's gonna be hard to raise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the boy? Oh! Oh, where is he? Shoot him. Where is he? Stay away, no mother. Shoot him. I'm gonna talk to your parents, boy. Oh. Okay, parenting time. How should we advise our child to handle this? Flashpoint, offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. So the options are throw the rock at his head, knock the rock from his hands, or drop the rock. Knock the rock from his hand. Yeah. Ideally though, if it was my kid, I would probably encourage her to be like, Mom, I have like a, a problem here. We need to talk this through and, and you know, resolve the issue. But at the same time, I would be like, aim for his head. <laughs> I would be mentally thinking, go ahead, aim for his head. <laughs> but I would be like, you know, we have to, you know, resolve conflicts in a, you know, more productive way or whatever. But I think this is a nice balance between the two. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. There. Hey. See? That's what you get. Try me again. Yeah, try it again, buddy. Away from there. Back to picking berries. <laughs> oh, poor oh. thing. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me have a look. Sweetie, let's get you some ice cream. That guy's an asshole. Here. Hold still. I'll get it. Why? Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. Who's the matriarchs? But they know. Who's the matriarchs? The Aloy, three old ladies? We are outcasts. Oh. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I'll win the proving. She's very determined. I see. She gets that from me. We best get started then. Maybe both of us. Your training will be hard, and it'll take years. Start training. Yes. Follow. <laughs> She's like, we're gonna get on this right now. Aw. With enough determination.
determination, you can do anything. Yeah, I agree. Just gotta keep practicing it. <gasps> NOT THE BUNNY! <laughs> did she miss? She did. <laughs> I couldn't even watch. Oh shit! Now you pissed off the murder chicken. Thanks. Okay. Oh, good thing we have Uncle Ross to kind of get our backs until we, you know, get our stuff together. Oh. Oh, look at her improving. Yep. Keep it up, kid. You're doing great. Oh! Oh! You can do it! You can do it! Oh! 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 oh. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's a long jump! Yep. Oh shit, she oh. grew up fast. She did. How hard did puberty hit you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not dressed for the snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She looks so badass. Oh, I love it. I think you're ready, kid. extra gray hairs in his beard from raising her. I don't blame him. <laughs> Rost? Rost? Yo, Rost! Rost! Hey, Rost! Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Oh, so the proving is like pretty soon. Okay, so we gotta find Ross, I guess. Initial thoughts before we go find Ross? Love it. Love, Love it. the game. Yes, yes. Beautiful game. I'm kind of liking the, the story, you know, the characters overall. I'm excited. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Comment below. Let us know what you think of the game so far. And tune in next week for another episode. Bye! Bye.